What are description lists and when should you use them? Description lists are perfect for presenting terms and definitions in an organized and easy to read format, like in a glossary or real dictionary, where you can find words with their corresponding definitions. This is an example of a description list in HTML with two terms and their corresponding details. In this case, the terms are the acronyms HTML and CSS, and the details are their expansions. The details could also be definitions or other information related to the terms. You will need three HTML elements to define a description list. First, the description list element, DL, which is the container for the entire list. You can see it here around all the other elements of the description list. Then one description term element, DT, for each term. In this case, the description list has two terms, HTML and CSS. So it has two of these elements. And finally, after each term, you will find a description details element, DD, for the description or details associated with that term. In this example, they are hypertext markup language and cascading style sheets. This is what you will see in the browser. Each term is followed by its corresponding description. By default, the descriptions are slightly more indented towards the right to distinguish them visually. But description lists are not limited to only terms and definitions. They are much more versatile than that. Here we have a recipe with two ingredients. The entire description list is within a description list element. The first ingredient, flour, is within a description term element. Then you can see how much of this ingredient you will need, two cups. This is within a description details element directly after its corresponding ingredient. And the same structure is repeated for sugar. In this case, the recipe has only two ingredients. But if there were more, the same structure could be repeated throughout the description list. This is what you will see in the browser. The ingredients are aligned to the left while the measurements are indented to separate them visually. Other use cases for description lists include product specifications, frequently asked questions, contact information, and metadata. Essentially, when you have two related pieces of information in a key value pair format, where one acts as a label, the key, and the other acts as additional related information, the value, you can use a description list.